What's up everybody and welcome to Camp Mongoose. Uh, I'm going to make a video that tells you guys all about Camp Mongoose, what it is, and the things that you could do at spawn. I'd like to first apologize ahead of time. I am sick. I, my throat's been acting all funky for like the last week. I'm going to the doctors tomorrow about it. Don't worry about it, guys. So, if I sound a little weird or if I'm coughing or clearing my throat every now and then, that's, uh, that's the reason why. So, um, anyways. Camp Mongoose is our new SMP server. It is, uh, it's going to replace, I don't want to use, I don't like the word replace, but it, it really is. It's going to replace uh, Mongoose Country. And uh, we've had Mongoose Country now for about six years. It's gone through ten seasons. It's time for it to, uh, to finally take a break. And uh, we move on to, to bigger, greater, and more uh, interesting things than just a plain old SMP server. Now, if you are whitelisted on Mongoose Country, you are whitelisted here on Camp Mongoose. Uh, <clears throat> no matter what time you played, I know a lot of there's a lot of older players that are asking me, it's like, hey, I played on Mongoose Country like years ago. Can I still play or whatever? Yes, absolutely. We've kept the same whitelist. So if your name is old enough, though, where it's, you haven't um, merged your UUID over or merged to a Mojang account, then and you change your name too. Uh, there might be some problems there, but just let us know on Twitter, uh, or YouTube, wherever, and, uh, we'll handle it. Uh, we'll reference your old one and, and replace it with a new one. So, anyways, Camp Mongoose is an SMP server ran by, by me and Swifty. We are, um, it's a, it's a normal SMP server, so if you guys just want to come on here and build and just have a good time, you guys can do that, just, you know, plain old Minecraft. But we do have a little extra twist on there for people that may get bored with uh, regular SMP stuff, and that's that we have House Dragon and House Knights. Um, so <sighs> at summer camp, you know they have uh, they kind of throw you into to different houses and stuff like that. It's usually like you know simple stuff, but then they'll have like challenges where one house will battle or do something against another house. You know, it's either like competitions or like a fishing thing or or something or other, right? So when you first join the server in the in the chat down here, in the bottom, it'll say you are assigned to a house, it, either dragons or knights. Uh, as of right now, we don't have a command uh, to to let you know, so you, sh you need to pay attention when you first log on. But um, we will. I'm gonna talk to our developer about it and have them so you can just type in like slash house, and it'll tell you which house you're on. Or later on, I'll show you another way that you could see. So. <clears throat> Uh, as of right now, both houses are at zero points, but at the end of, uh, I believe every month I'm going to do it, uh, the house with the most points will be awarded a house cup or a house trophy or something of that nature. And uh, they get to lord it over the other team. Uh, regardless of what team you're on, you guys do have build rights, so I'm on house dragons. So if I go to the, the dragon house, I can build inside of there. And the whole thing is that each house is kind of run down and needs renovating. So it's up to whoever's house you're working on. There goes Adrian. Um, he, um, oh, he quit. <laughs> he ran through there and quit. Um, he, uh, it's up to the houses to, to renovate their own house. So it's up to the dragons to redo the dragon house and it's up to the knights to redo theirs. We, we give you guys a basic layout of what it should kind of stay somewhat like, but it'll make sense later on. They're, they're kind of run down and uh, you guys get to revamp it and build your own homes and stuff like that in there. Alongside of all the builds that you do uh, on the server. So this is the, the spawn house. Um, I'll fly out here or I won't. It's a very, very cool house. It's built by uh, an Australian build team. I believe they're all Australian. Um, led by Dev, D3V underscore, or Doug. Um, they also did the Beastcraft spawn and everything like that. I think that this is their signature for stuff that they build. A little tree with a bunch of bees on it, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, so thanks, guys, for, for all your hard work. They, guys, they, they did all of this in like four days. This and both houses. It's, it was amazing. Um, so when you first start the server, you're going to have, uh, two mongoose badges. Now, uh, badges, uh, we have merit badges on the server. There's currently five of them. 
Um, and if you go up here, you can turn in your badges. I put some glowstone and a sign here so it's easier for people to find where the staircase is. Um, uh, badges are kind of like our... Not necessarily currency, because we do have um, uh, essentials currency and stuff on here, but... Um, You'll be given badges for completing events and stuff like that, like we have an Explorer badge, uh, Defense badge over there, Marksman and Melee badge over there. <clears throat> the Mongoose one is kind of like a general badge where you have the ability to um, get any of them. So if you go up to any of these chests and you left click, so you just punch the chest with uh, nothing in your hand, you'll see the chances of getting uh, the contents inside the chest. So I have a 20% chance of getting 30 levels of experience. 18% uh, for 5k, that actually should be much more, and 17 for 20. Um, sorry guys, I gotta, I gotta keep drinking water to <clears throat> keep the throat uh, up to code, you know? But you have a 1% chance of getting 5 of another one of the badges. So, you just take one of your badges and you right click it, and it's a roulette. And it'll go through, and what will we land on? So, okay, so we got one badge and that turned into two defense badges. So let's see what the other one is. I'm hoping for five of another one. Okay, we got 20k cash, not bad. All right, so that'll uh, that'll be good for for starting off because there are a bunch of stores and stuff down here where you can buy uh, blocks and and uh, different items and everything. So since I have two defense badges, <coughs> excuse me, I'll pop over here to the defense one, and then use my badges here. And uh, there's a whole bunch of really cool items in here. All right, Aegis. I actually already got an Aegis. Right here. I'm already wearing one. Um, but each of the um, the main gear have uh, a rarity color. So blue is is uh, uncommon. And uh, and lore for all of them. I got some golden underpants, which are green, which are very common. So. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, we have uh, we have all of those badges. I personally I like the explorer chest a lot because it has a lot of uh, really nice tools in it. So these are two legendaries here, notches and kings. Um, let's just see. It would be pretty sweet to be able to get one of these on camera, but uh, after doing oh I got a lumbermancer. I already had a lumbermancer. Got another lumbermancer. Nice. <laughs> um, it is actually pretty difficult to get the legendaries. Uh, we've had a bunch of people come in and, and get badges. Oh, I got a stink fist, great. And, um, <laughs> see, Shimmy, Shimmy already knows the lore of this one. You swing your hatchet at the tree. Uh, which is a, a joke that I pulled from our RuneScape Team LP. You should check it out if you haven't. But I got a sweet stink fist. Uh, stink fist and a lumbermancer. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very cool thing, and we're going to be adding more of these down the road. Uh, we're gonna ha have specialty ones that have super rare stuff inside of them that you can only get from those chests and uh, it'll be a, a pretty low percentage to get them kind of like a my idea with it is to, to make a dungeon of some sort that can be reset and then after you fight your way through the dungeon you have a, a, a low chance of it dropping one of the badges that you can then turn in um, somewhere for a really really cool loot so that's all that's all down the road stuff it's it's very complex and it, it's gonna take me some time to to really iron it out mm. okay so <coughs> all the shops around the town and I, I, I wish I was better for this for this video but I get a lot of these questions so I want I want to put out something to, to answer it so food shops it'll be the the villagers not the um, not the little uh, armor stand guys here I'm just gonna get rid of that right now because it makes my shaders all foggy so right click the food shop and in here you can buy a whole bunch of different types of food most of it is cooked some of it's not like the carrots but you know I don't think you could get cooked carrots I don't know what you could get with carrots but um, anyway so you could just click on it to buy one of them so if I buy that so, $20, take it from my account. Okay, got one carrot. It's kind of expensive for a carrot, but I mean, if you're in desperate need for a carrot, you can come over here and get it. Uh, you can also buy multiple things at a time by hit, holding shift, as you can see there in the, in, the, in, the, in the text there, shift to add to cart. 
So now I'm at the baked potato things and I can add a whole stack if I want. Or if I just wanted 60 of them, I can remove a couple. And then click to confirm. And then that's now thrown into my cart here. So I could buy multiple things if I wanted to. So if I wanted to buy five melons as well. And uh, get myself a couple of apples. And then if I go to checkout, <clears throat> I have my three things there. So 60 potatoes, five melons, and 10 apples. And if I hover over this, I'll see how much it costs and what my balance will be before and after. And then buy items. <clears throat> so, there we go. Got a whole bunch of items there. Now, say I wanted to take these items and sell them. Well, over here is a sign for buying. A lot of people are, are messing this up and they're left clicking when they need to right click. Again, if you read it, it says right click to toggle buying and selling. But if you left click, it's a search thing, which isn't really needed because most of our shops, all of our shops are one page. So you don't need to search anything. So just right click and then you see all these items here. So say I want to sell my baked potatoes here. So click baked potatoes and he buys them for five each. So I could sell one at a time or I could sell all. So I'll just sell all and I sold it for 300. So selling stuff is, um, it, I, I, I want to, sh I'm showing this because it took me a while to figure out where the sell option was on these shops. So <coughs> that's how you get to the, the sell part. And uh, yeah, easy as that. So there's food shop, block shop. There's a plant shop right here. Um, over here is the animal shop. Way over in the corner where Terry's character is, is the ore shop. And over here is the armor shop. <coughs> Man, I'm, I'm so irritated when I have something wrong with my throat. I can't do videos or anything. Or when I don't do videos at all. But, you know, either way. An armor shop is pretty basic. You buy um, chain stuff, regular stuff. You can also do that. If you go in here, you can also sell the same things. Uh, most shops will only buy the things that they sell. The only one that's different is the um, the ore shop over here. Go over here, right click. You can see that he actually buys blocks of the stuff and the smelted versions. So um, it's the only one that buys more than what it sells. Uh, over here is the tavern. Where Brad is going? Nope, Brad's skipping over it. Mongoose Tavern. Where you can see Spencer dishing out the drinks and the bar. Adrian enjoying his right here, and Jose blasted on some beer. And uh, yeah, it's uh, that's basically spawn, guys. It's um, it's pretty simple, you know. Kept it real nice and and, and clean, or as clean as I th think you should uh, keep a spawn. Also, who the hell is building up there? Kind of wish people wouldn't build giant stuff like that near spawn. I like keeping spawn kind of clean. I've always, um, I've always held that philosophy on all, all of the maps or whatever. I feel like if you come to spawn, you shouldn't see like a ton of other builds and stuff around it kind of ruin the, ruining the atmosphere. So I oh, should go talk to that person before they continue. That way they don't uh, waste their time. So <clears throat> again, if you want to get up to badges, the warp is just badges. And that'll take you right up here. You can also just type in warp badges to get here. <coughs> we type spawn. I'll take you here to the helpful warps. So if we go to Warp Dragons, which is uh, actually the house that I was assigned to, um, this is uh, the dragons like common house. Think of like Harry Potter and with Hogwarts and everything. How that each house has its own common room. Same deal with summer camp. Like summer camp, their cabins are named stuff. Okay, got a cough drop too. I don't think that's gonna help though. So <laughs> this is the dragon place. If you're not part of House Dragon, you're gonna be denied access into this area. It's gonna uh, knock you back. We're gonna get rid of the cough drop. I don't. I don't want to be clanging that around in my teeth while I'm trying to talk to you guys. So, um, time day. There we go. Uh, big old tree, and then when you go down here, it'll take a spiral staircase all the way down to the common room. And this is where you guys will have your trophies and stuff. Uh, as the dragons uh, win more events and everything like that, they'll be awarded trophies that they could put inside of here. And the uh, <coughs> house cup, or whatever you want to call it, will go right here in the middle. It's pretty sweet. And uh, anybody who's part of dragons should know that <coughs> all of these, like, 
bits that kind of pop out here. These are suggestions for you guys to continue building inside of here if you guys want to hollow this out and build like your own rooms and stuff inside of here. And if we warp over to two knights, you'll see that uh, they have their own little area too. And someone's already been planting a bunch of trees all around here. And this whole area again is for the knights to build their own like town and city and stuff. It looks like someone's already building something over there. The whole idea is that you guys help your houses uh, build up and, and make it uh, make it a cool like little village for the knights, you know. And uh, your guys' wall is kind of <clears throat> kind of messed up. Could be better, you know. And again, if you're part of House Dragon, not me in particular, but because I'm an admin. But you'll be denied access inside of here. So yeah, we already got some people rebuilding the wall. We got a donation chest here for um, oh yeah, just any items that they uh, they don't need anymore. That's cool. <laughs> it looks like they actually have already started working on this place because we didn't add any of this uh, granite. <clears throat> so someone else has already come in here and uh, and did some work on the knights area. So that that's pretty cool. And also we didn't add these pillars either. <clears throat> If you watch uh, the day one launch, you'll see that uh, none of this was here. So it's cool that it's already been worked on. It looks like they have a mine. Yeah. A little mine being worked on. Uh, the only thing I should mention is that right here, we need to add a platform for the trophy. Big trophy. Yeah, both sides are very cool. I'm, I'm really happy to see that the knights are uh, already working on stuff. Dragons are a little far behind uh, in comparison right now. But yeah. Those are our two little house things. We're going to be doing uh, big events for those. Uh, we'll probably do like one big event every month. Um, but other than that, we'll do... Uh, I know a bunch of the Team Mongus members are already on giving out badges and doing events. I think Jose did a PvP thing last night and um, did some hide-and-seek stuff. And uh, I did a couple of like... First couple of people brought me iron the first night or whatever. I gave some badges away. Um, for those who... If you like helping support the server, you can also buy the badges on our on our store. If you want to be on the whitelist, you can also purchase a whitelist too. It looks like a creeper blew up here, uh, which is twenty five bucks down from fifty from Mongoose Country, just because. Um, Strip mine. This server is uh, is only as fun as the people that are on it. So I want to try to keep it more open to everybody. And Polo Handles new. So welcome. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, we're, um, I, I feel like a lot of people are already really enjoying the server, and I think that, uh, you guys would too. So, uh, everybody's more than welcome to come join the server. I, I can't, I don't have the, the train of thought right now to, to, to really, um, oh, oh sweet, <laughs> sweet skin. <laughs> That's great. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's Camp Marcus. Hopefully I answered all of your questions. Oh, there is one other thing that I want to mention. There is a lot of stuff here at Spawn that isn't being sold, but we do have an auction house. If you just type forward slash AH, um, this, uh, I wish Scarlet wouldn't have taken that banner. We have command blocks up on the top of the spawn that we used to, uh, to get our, our banners back and for him to be selling that I need to get talk to him and get that back from him because he shouldn't have that kind of messed up but even still there is an auction house <coughs> excuse me it actually seems like Scarlet even has the most up on there right now that you guys can sell and buy items <coughs> okay guys I need to go because I'm starting to cough a lot and I need to keep cutting <coughs> so anyways I'll talk to you guys later till next time